Oh, episode three, kayak fishing. So we went swimming once. We're gonna try to not go swimming again. Yeah, especially here. That smell like caca. This is Dr. Boot. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Man. And that's soft as shit. You're gonna sink in over there. Ooh. It's a little sinky, a little shake weighty. See his line, I'm trying to get away from it. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm glad you did too, man. So, our launch is successful. We're gonna find out. Let's see how far down this bad boy I can get. And away we go. Episode 3 of Lumberjack Fishing, guys. If you liked the last video, please give a thumbs up to this one. Subscribe. I'm sorry I didn't go for a swim this time, but I just wasn't feeling it. Subscribe. We're your chance to get some free lures. So, as well, if you got the opportunity to go to Instagram, jump on at Romy and Tony or go to go and just search Lumberjack underscore fishing. And, uh, we will show up. We're also on Facebook. We will be doing a giveaway at that page as well. Once we're at a combined total of 600 between likes and follows. So, definitely worth your time. So we are in a golf course lake. I'm trying to keep it somewhat quiet. But we've had luck on the golf course lakes. This is a new spot we've not got to be in before. Check it out. International Degenerates away <laughs> behind me. He's trying to get a launch. So where we launched was kind of a rough rough uh, rough push. Um, this is a spot where last year I caught some really good sized snakeheads and uh, they had opened it up toward the end of snakehead season I did a bunch of construction on the valve system that's back there so we haven't been back there to fish for a while well it's still it's pretty nasty but I mean the water level is back up to where it was before and we're just hoping now we can see something good I feel like a ninja every time I grab a rod from behind me. Ooh. Better than having the rod sit between my legs the whole time I'm trying to get something going on here. There we go. Let's see what we got. So, if you haven't noticed, I'm sitting a lot lower. We are without the seat. And it seems to be a much better ride. It's much more comfortable. I thought I'd be wanting to sit up high. And given the the, the style of, of kayak I'm in, it just wasn't wasn't feasible. So the wood floor is great. It has added a lot of weight to the kayak, but it is still a really good, really good comfortable ride. And again, we are using Lunker Hunt lures as always. Thank you, Lunker Hunt, for making all of my fishing experiences possible. I appreciate you guys if you got the chance. Go to lunkerhunt.com. 
I look at their new lineup of stuff. They got a lot of great stuff. We advertise a little bit of it on our page, on our Facebook page. Uh, we'll have some more coming up, as well as thank you to Lunker Hunt for making our giveaways possible. So, now, the giveaway was my initial idea, but I wanted somebody to enjoy the same fishing adventures I have when I use Lunker Hunt gear, so shameless promotion. Shameless promotion. This place is going to slam with snake eggs once the season opens up. Ooh, buddy. Ooh, but especially now that I can get in here. It'll be awesome. Can you tell if I'm tucking on the bottom or? Getting warm out though. It's definitely getting warm. Watch for golf balls over here. I think we gotta put it down a little bit. Oh, fix my screw up here. I think we're gonna go down this lake ways a little ways down here toward this bridge. Got the, uh, well you can see behind me, we got the International Degenerate back there. Old Dave is over on the bank. And D is back there, he's trying to bass fish off the bank, so. Right here in the middle, so it's a good place to cast out. right up here. Well, this water seems uh, about half my pole deep. Someday I'm gonna buy a real kayak pedal. Right up here in these weeds. Good place to park. Yeah, we're about four foot deep, so. Garbage. Maybe I can top water something. <laughs> I'm carrying a stick.
yeah, at some point we'll have fish on video. Uh, till then, I'm just basically showing you how to do a whole bunch of weed cleanup. <laughs> Get all the crap out of the water. Don't want something to hit me. Crazy just went on behind me. I don't know if that was a golf ball or a fish if y'all heard it. So I think this is how the day is going to be today. You figure the water would be warmer. And the water is warmer here than what it has been uh, every place else I fished today. And last week, actually. And even though I caught that bass in some super cold water, the water here is warmer. Um, it's a little deeper here. Uh, it's kind of clearer too, actually. It looks a little nicer. It smells funny though. But, yeah. Yeah, no. But uh, I, I would assume something's going to be in this water. It might just be carp. It might not. We'll see. Sounds like Noel's behind me a little ways, all the old international degenerate. Sounds like he's behind me a little ways. Backed into the weeds. People walk by laugh at us a couple times already. There's a golfer. Crazy, crazy. There's much here on this spot. Let me, let me go this way a little bit. I'll peer out to the to the left. Try to crankbait a little more. And I don't get no hits on the crankbait. We'll switch to a jig and then actually I got a little spinner bait on, I think. I want it just good. Let's try that. Let's try this little spinner bait. I got ooh, come back here. Try this little bit, little boy spinner bait. Ouch. Yeah, you see that that line trick? That's something I learned a long time ago kayak fishing. You don't want your treble hooks to get mixed up with other, other lines and stuff. Yep, right, 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 right. Excuse me, can't talk. Got that line around your pole a little bit. That's the big boy. Oh, that's the big boy. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got these on a video too. Little spinners like that. Uh, 
I got that one braided up too. Yep. Well, got a little braided leader line. Toss this bad boy up. Run this one kind of fast. Yep. That's 15 minutes of me casting and jabbering. We ain't got nothing yet, but you can guarantee if I do, I will definitely post it. So, guys, if you got the chance, please subscribe. There's free tackle coming your way from Lunker Hunt. Love those guys. Big shout out to them as well. Go to uh, Instagram. Couldn't think there for a second. Go to Instagram at Romeo and Tony, or you can just search a lumberjack underscore fishing. Give me a follow. We're almost there. 20 more there, and we'll give a uh, rod and reel combo away. So, yep, and as always, guys, tight lines, rip lips, and I'll see you on the next episode.